What is your deal? You're so funny. Now you have the hiccups. I've literally never shared this, but. His first car wash. Where'd he go? Oh my god, her teeth are. Oh, it's on your hair. Wait. Okay, there's <laughs> the final. It's so freaking big. A little set. I'm so excited this came today. So I just got my white fox package delivered. Um, it was actually delivered to my neighbor's house and then I saw her on the ring camera run it over. So, so excited to try some of this stuff on. I know I got some really pretty um, tops and corsets and things that I can't wait to pair with stuff. Okay, I just unboxed everything. I think I'm gonna take it up and try it on because we have like construction going on outside and yeah, let me take this off stairs. Here is the first little set. They come as individuals, but um, I got both because I wanted to wear it as an outfit. But it's so freaking cute. This is so in right now, the little like corset with the mini skirt action. This I got in a size extra small, and this I got in a size small. It fits so, so cute. I honestly have no idea what I would ever wear this to. So yeah, I think that this corset would look really cute with denim if you wanted to just get this by itself if the mini low-rise skirt is not your thing. I think that would be super cute too. Next up, I have this top. I already have this top. You guys have probably seen me wear it a million times because it's one of my favorite tops. It's like one of those thick, stretchy tops that you feel like you don't have to wear a bra with. I bring this everywhere with me. I just think it's such a good basic to throw on with literally everything, leggings, denim um biker shorts like it just goes under everything with everything so i got a second one because you know when you're like you have your favorite top and you're like terrified that you're gonna lose it so um yeah i'm obsessed with it they're just so good these jeans are so freaking cute i get my jeans from white fox in a size medium because i like them to be like baggy and have that like loose fit to them and i just think I just think they look so nice and they're so comfortable. Okay, then we have this top. It's the same material as the tan one, only it is black. It has a really nice cut to it, super flattering. And I kind of want to see if they have this in more colors because I'm obsessed with how these tops fit. I just think they like feel so nice. And again, you don't have to wear a bra. They're so thick and supportive. These fit so good. I got them in a size medium and... And yeah, I like that they're baggy, but they still fit really nicely around the waist. That's like something White Fox is known for. They always fit your waist. If you have issues where jeans don't fit your waist, but they fit your butt. Um, or wait, I'm saying that wrong. If you have issues where you can't get your waist and your butt to like line up in jeans right, try White Fox denim because it's literally so magical how they fit. And then here's the other pair of denim that I got. So perfect. Got them in a medium again, nice and baggy, and I just love the fit. I think White Fox just really knows what they're doing with the denim, so love. These are like more of a straighter fit. Would be so cute with some heels, and then they could like cuff up over the heels and make your legs look so long. Okay, we have a little netted corset. Super cute. Would go really cute with sweatpants because it kind of has like a sporty vibe, like the texture to it. The back is like completely see-through, and... It's so flattering. Okay, we have a plain black tube top corset. Let me... <laughs> okay, we have a plain black tube top corset. Um, it has all the boning in it. Super high quality. I also got it in brown. Love this color, brown. Um, so I'm not going to try this one on because it's literally the same fit. Just <laughs> same but different. But I love these. Super sporty. Why do I keep saying sporty? Clearly I'm into brown right now because everything I got is brown Literally story of my life. I only ever buy neutrals, but this is so 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 fun I love having Something super unique like this, but then having it in a in a basic color so you can like figure out what you want to do with it later Yeah, this is cute. It looks like it's two different tops, but it's all Connected. Okay, I got some oversized t-shirts. White Box has my favorite loungewear ever. Like, I wear their two-piece sets every day. Like, I have I have two sweat sets from them, and I don't know why I'm always gravitated to wear them when I, like, see them in my closet. Just because I know how comfy they are, and, like, they just do loungewear so right. Like, it just lays on you so good. 
Um, and I love this top. It kind of reminds me of Boys Lie. The color is so cute. So I love this with some biker shorts, hair slicked back in the spring, and just like... Okay, then we have this basic gray White Fox logo tee. This t-shirt, you guys... I don't even know how to explain it. It's so stretchy. Like, the material is just like no other. It's so comfy. Um, highly recommend this one. I'm, like, queen of big t-shirts. It's all I used to wear. Like, I grew up wearing my dad's t-shirts. Like, I slept in them every single night. I would just wear big t-shirts to class when I was in college. So, this is, like, a 10 out of 10. Okay, this... I am forgot I picked this out, and I'm so excited. Because I was like, did I literally just get all, like nice clothes and i normally love their athleisure as i was just saying so what is this set it's so freaking cute white fox pool club um cropped tee and then the pants with the matching logo oh my god it's so cute this is a really good running around town outfit around the house outfit i love this i think it's so cute with just like a pair of sneaks and you're out the door. So easy too. And then I just got a plain gray zip up. I love the quality. So soft and warm. Okay, I also got one of these. Love this. I've been seeing so many people with this. And I'm like, I have to get my hands on that. I love how it's not your basic hoodie. It like has the half zip with the color. It just says White Fox, Los Angeles. Again, I got this in a medium large. Okay, and then last I got this. Um two-piece set pretty corset i need to tighten these straps but i don't have the patience to do the buckles right now um but basically it'll look like that and then you have the pants with the matching buckles on the side and they fit so cute on the butt like they fit so good this set also comes in black if you're not into the white full outfit anyways that's all of the looks from white fox I will link everything that I tried on down below. I also have a coupon code for you guys to get 20% off if you use the code Jessica S. Um, and all that info will be down in the description box. Thank you again to White Fox for partnering with me. I literally love all of their clothes, especially their athleisure. You guys have to get your hands on those sweats. Um, okay, let's get on with the rest of the vlog. We're all obsessed with the White Fox clothes. What is this? Every time I have clothes on the floor, this is Mo. He, like, thinks it's... What are you doing, cuckoo head? I literally thought you were the sweatshirt. I was about to scoop you up with all these clothes. Good morning. Are we surprised? I'm already doing an arts and crafts. It's Sunday. I'm so funny. I'm painting this lamp because it was um, kind of yellowy. It was a vintage lamp. So I'm painting it white. And then I also just painted... Oh, and I'm using that huge thing of paint that, like... The builders left in this house to like do the trim so i hope that it doesn't chip off because i don't know if it's supposed to be used for that um and then wait someone's here look at that happy girl do you want to open your new clothes do you want to sit down there and open them yeah i think so in the moment open them okay ready cool I think this one's from Nene. No, this is mine. Oh, all my stuff didn't come yet because it's getting made. Really Who's this from? Me. I picked this stuff up. <gasps> Look at those overalls. Those are huge. What the heck? I got it for one to twelve to eighteen minutes. That's probably why they're huge. I got all her stuff for that except the shorts. What the heck? These are so nine to twelve months. They're huge. No, those will be fine. These are supposed to fit her right now. She's gonna be ten months in a couple of days. These are gonna fit her. Are they cute? Love them. I have to get them out. Oh yeah. That big old booty you got. That big old. Oh. I guess with the diaper. Who's that from? I get so startled these days. Alright, this one's Nene. She got you a hat with a cat on it. I don't know about it. It's the only thing. The other things were cute. Let me open it. Okay. 
Love the fit of it. It's so cute. When the sun is out, it's good for her. Oh my god, look at the baby! Oh, look at her, look at it. Oh god. my baby, so cute. Sky. Oh my god, that sky. top is so cute. It's sky blue. Sky. You like that? Yeah. Say thank you, Nene. Everything so far, but your sweatsuits are gonna come in. So, you got a what? A sweatsuit with your hair? Oh, so many sweatsuits. All with your shorts on it? Sh no, no, no. Shorts with sweatshirts for the summer. Put her in the box with her hat on and send it to Nene. Sky! <laughs> she's gonna turn her, she's good. Yeah, she's good. We'll have to kiss you and have a Okay, we're in Sky's first car wash. We'll see how this goes. noises and that car wash is like so loud well I think all car washes are loud but you did good babe first car wash first car wash at almost 10 wait are you 10 months old today no tomorrow first car wash for your 10 month birthday congratulations happy birthday I can't believe she's gonna be one in two months you guys like what is my life what is my life? I know, that was like really dramatic for no reason. Sorry that I just dragged you through that. I'm gonna go shopping for the house today and look for some furniture. So I have a few things on my list. I have a coffee table for upstairs in the bonus room. I have a, oh, there's a lot of furniture that we are going to, um, we're gonna sell and like switch out because the vibe of the new house I think I've said this on a vlog before but in case you're new we're moving and the vibe of the new house is like a lot different and um, I feel like my house now the tones are very creamy and like warm and the new house the walls are gonna be like pure white instead of like I have like a creamy white on my walls so I don't want to bring anything too creamy in because I feel that it's gonna look yellow like the house that I'm at now I always did like warm 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 um, like any types of like creams and tans and I brought out like the warmth of everything and now this house I definitely just want to keep it super neutral like not even cool tones I just want to do like black white and then neutral undertones I feel like every time we move I like to take on the project of like designing the house because it's fun for me I feel like I learn so much from the process each time I don't know so I'm excited because I haven't done anything like this and I love home decor I'm always changing up the home decor and like switching it up doing new I never keep furniture in the same place I'm gonna try to do that in this house because I'm specifically buying stuff well I did that for this house too and I still ended up like getting rid of things and blah 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 anyways my circular round couch that used to be in this house that we are in now I regret so bad getting rid of and I never admitted that even to myself but the thing was is that I literally thought we were moving to another state I'm not, I can't say where but I thought we were going to move to that state and I had already picked out a house and everything and I, I've literally never shared this but that couch wasn't gonna work in that house so I sold it and then look what happened we never ended up going there so I'm not gonna do that in this house I'm literally going to keep this house furnished until I know we are leaving 
<laughs> and I'm gonna bring this stuff with me because I'm like really going all out in this house so there was a lot of things that felt unfinished in the house that I'm in now because I kept knowing I was not gonna be there for long I kept being like this is not a house we're gonna be in for over a year I knew that when I bought the house I just was not it was the only house we really could get because of the market so I'm like so excited for the new one because I feel like I will be very content and happy there for like a few years um and if we have to move in here I'm not gonna be upset and if we have to live there for five years I'm not gonna be upset because I'm gonna make it how um I'm envisioning it so don't want to rush it because I feel like we're, we're gonna be here for a couple of years I say that and then it's gonna be like a clip of me saying that and then we're moving in another year anyways um so yeah taking my time we're gonna be in our house for a while I don't want to rush out of our house so that this way we can like still live at the house we're at now and I can like go over and do like window treatments and do like every all the little details that you don't that you try to like rush once you get all the furniture in I want to like get all that stuff done first and then move over um because I want everything to be perfect like it's so hard to get your perfect window treatments up when you have all the furniture in the house and da 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 so it's like my little project um and I'm obsessed I just love home stuff so anyways I'm gonna drop her off we're gonna go hunting for are these people moving oh no they got a new Dryer. Um, yeah, we're gonna go hunt for some new stuff and I'm gonna bring you guys with me and kind of show my thought process and like how I shop for furniture because <laughs> like furniture shopping is seriously my favorite shopping of any type of shopping. Okay, y'all, I just had the biggest fail of everything. Well, it wasn't a huge fail. I found two pieces of cloud couch that go with my couch now that I might get to add on to make my couch an L-shaped for the bonus room, but I'm going to the house right now to measure. But that was it. Then I left and I didn't even go anywhere else because I was like, they only said they would hold it till 2.30 and I was like, oh, I don't want to just like buy this and not know. So I was just editing a video and I'm trying to, um, get in the car because I have to go pick up our couch today the second part of our couch I uh, um got yesterday from restoration hardware outlet I found our exact couch and our exact cover there and I'm going to extend our couch so that it's longer at the new new house um because our bonus room in the new house is so freakishly big that it's just like it's so awkward it's just like a big open room just think of it as like a massive just room it's like how do i style this like you have to break it up somehow because if i just put a couch and tv in it it's just gonna look like it's floating in the middle what is your deal you're so funny now you have the hiccups um so I was thinking about doing a sectional, like making it an L, putting a big coffee table and then kind of putting that over on the side, like sectioning it off so that it's like the TV area where you like the theater area, like where you sit and lounge and whatever. And there'll still be room for chairs if we want to bring our chairs. I don't want to bring the chairs. Brent doesn't want to bring them because he thinks they're ugly, but he sits in them. So I know he's going to be like so annoyed, like not having... The chairs to sit in but anyways um this couch is like the biggest comfiest best couch in the entire world we've had the three pieces i have the lux um depth so it's like so 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 comfy and i've had it for almost a year and it's held up so nicely um other than the fabric i'm not the biggest fan of the fabric that i picked but that was kind of like my bad i got the textured linen and it gets like kind of bally um and I have to like shave it, shave it every now and again. But I ordered a new fabric for the new house. And now that I got more pieces, I have to order even more pieces. So I'm just not even going to worry about it. I'm going to keep it white for right now because I did get it in the like linen color um, in the same fabric that our bed is in. It's like a lot softer and it's like true linen. The other one's more of a performance, like rougher fabric. But anyway, this long story short we're gonna go pick up the pieces and hello and where are you guys located we 
Yeah. Oh, okay, good. It's still in the same. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, yes, ma'am. Okay, that was the call. I was waiting for that call for so long, and now we can't even get in for two weeks. Um, Sky has to go get evaluated for a helmet. It's, like, kind of late in life to do it. Um, and our doctor just kept saying, like, it was going to, her head was going to correct itself. It was going to correct itself. You know, like, all babies get, like, a slight flat head or a crooked head from, like, sleeping on one side too much because their heads are so soft. And... I just like, I don't know if it's because she has no hair, but it's like, I notice it all the time. And I'm just like, she has a lopsided head. Like, I don't want her to like grow up and like have a lopsided head. So I took her back to the doctor because I'm like, this is not correcting itself. She's already almost, she's 10 months, you're 10 months today. Like, it's like super late to be like doing all of this, but I'm kind of irritated. At, like, I don't, I don't want to get mad at the doctor because like she's the doctor and she knows. But like even when I took her back, she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed this. I'm like, she's like, I'm kicking myself for missing this at her last appointment. And I'm, I kind of was just like, I'm like a new mom. Like how am I supposed to know? Like when I heard that it was going to fix itself, I kind of just like went with that. I don't know. So she said that she might not even need a helmet. It might not even be bad enough and that she just needs to go see the specialist. So I don't, I don't know, cuckoo hair. What are we gonna do about you? Oh, okay. So, what if you have to wear a helmet? I won't take you in public in it, I promise. I won't embarrass you. I don't really like sharing stuff like that because I just feel, but I feel like it's important too because I know people go through stuff like this and it's really not a big deal. Like, it hasn't affected her brain in any way. At least I don't think. Oh, well, you all good up there, cuckoo here? You all good up there, cuckoo here? If anything, you're a cuckoo head because you have no hair and you look like a boy right now in this outfit that your uncle got you. Um, so anyways, we're going to go pick up the couch pieces and are you standing? Can you see her? She's literally standing up. <laughs> pick up this couch and then when I get home I'm gonna call Brent and hopefully he can take five minutes to leave the office to come help me load it because I don't want it just sitting outside in the back of the truck but we already switched cars so um I have the truck so hopefully it all fits in there <gasps> one two three so that like right when she was due for a bottle we would be getting home but then the guys at restoration hardware were acting like men and like could not figure out how to get it in the okay i'm going so slow on the highway because i'm like so confused why these guys at restoration hardware were looking at me crazy because i was in the truck shifting them around because they put them in standing straight up i'm like i'm not driving home like that like they're gonna I have to go on the highway like they're gonna catch the wind and flop out and the one guy would just did not want to deal with me and he was like thought he was like because he's a man he knows he's like no you're gonna be fine like blah 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 and I was like can we put them like stacked on top of each other like this flat so that they lay more flush in the truck and he's just staring at me I'm like did you understand what I said or that go right over your head so I just got in the truck and started moving them around myself and like the the manager guy out there helping was like so nice and he was like no no no, we understand like yeah let me help you oh good he was like telling the guys like grab that from her don't let her do that and I'm like are you kidding me they were just sitting there and I'm like I need to hurry up and get this in because I have to get home this guy needs to eat I don't know the whole thing was a mess so now I feel like I just keep checking because and I have all the pillows in here I just need to make it home and I need to just and now I feel like it's gonna rain <laughs> what is the I'm literally so scared. <laughs> we made it. Yeah, because you went at the time. Nice. 
Nice. Yeah. Is this ours? Yeah, there you go. Well, they're all wrapped up, which is good. Oh, yeah, we have to. Make sure the stairs are clear. Thanks, guys. Okay. I can definitely get that one up by myself. Here in the long No, way. I don't want you to. I heard the bottles on the uh, kitchen counter, the kitchen table. Are you hungry or what? That's so lazy. I know you're so hungry. I'm so sorry. It's kind of hard to vlog when you're moving shit. I know. Ow, what is this? Hold on a minute. Oh, that's how it... Oops. Push that on the wall. I'm going too fast. Go fast, as fast as you can. Because I have to easy job. It's going to be so cozy. Like, I almost feel like it's going to look... Look. Like, money. Oh, God, this one's heavy there. Tip this in to me. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, it's here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy that it's like the right one. I don't know why I was like second guessing it on the way home. Um, yay! So I want to back this up because I want to put the whole crotch together like I really do. You got me shaking, yeah, I feel the fever coming on Oh, you know you're all I want I keep saying that I Okay, there's <laughs> the final. It's so freaking big. It's so big. Like, I... It's so funny up here. But in the new house, like I said, it'll just work. Let me go up here so you can see. Oh, my God. What a dream. What a dream. So, I still need to get a coffee table. I'm thinking about doing a circular one just so it's easier to like walk around and like sit in there. Or a square one would look really nice. Okay, getting ready to go to Brent's practice. I can't stop wearing this jacket. I'm so obsessed with it. It just sold out when I posted it on my stories. So, I will see if it's back in stock and link it below. Um, or I'll link it anyways if you guys want to put the notification on. I thought I had it on a small, but I think it's a medium, to be honest. Mm. I am in the process of painting this mirror black also for the office. I'm waiting for Sky to... What the heck? Brent must have dropped that in here. I painted this black for my new office, so you can see like it's like patchy. But this has, I think, two or three coats on it, so... I need to just like finish building up the rest. 
then Sky gets up, I'm gonna feed her and we're gonna go to practice. And I'm so excited. I'm like, can't believe spring football is like already been going on. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Are your toys getting dirty, Miss Girl? cry if you have top teeth I'm literally gonna cry oh my god are they coming in oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god you're getting top teeth what the f oh my god I'm literally going to lose it Can you stop growing why are you having more teeth Headed to the doctor today. I guess I'm still on the same vlog um, that I was talking about this earlier. So if you skipped forward and you missed the part, we're going to the doctor today to see if Sky needs a helmet or not. They're just gonna evaluate her head and see what's going on. I really hope, I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle. I think I'll be happy if she needs it because I don't think it's bad enough where she'll have to like wear it 24 seven. But also I like want, I don't want her head to be crooked. So like if she needs it, I'm gonna be excited that like we caught it and that we can fix it. If she doesn't need it, that's gonna be like a relief too because it's just like one less thing we'll have to deal with. But I'm glad that we're getting it looked at. So that's where we're going. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyways, hi guys, it's been the rest of the day. Um, so we got back from Sky's appointment and we have to right with the sun. We have to uh, get <laughs> Were you supposed to vlog today? Let me wait. Okay. We are at this really cute place called Martin's that has like a lot of plants and like landscaping and stuff. And I'm looking for stuff for the new house. Um for outside and inside because I kind of want to do some live plant. Shelby's like getting me into like the live plant realm because you guys know I have like no, I don't really want greenery though. I kind of want, yay. <laughs> it's, like, it's like calling your dad and asking for, can I go out to eat? If you buy a plant. I was like, okay. Yeah, because you guys have a million plants. Okay, so this is kind of the vibe. Something like, is this what we were looking at? No, this isn't it. But, that one's but like something here. like this, like branchy, not super green, kind of sparse. And then just think of it as in that huge black pot that I just got in the house. To give it some. Like yeah, I love whatever. Love the weeping willow. That's not a weeping willow. No, but it says it's a weeping cherry. Cute. And then we liked it was I think over mm -hmm. here. Oh, the Japanese maple. Yeah, but isn't that weird though? Because I didn't know that those got that big. I thought it was like that. Is a Japanese maple. Isn't that or no? We had one when I was little. Yeah, this is Japanese maple. Yeah, so then maybe it's this is just like tree version, like tall. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's the same one. <laughs> this freaking branch. It goes in my ear like a bug. Oh, so this one's a green. So is that this one's probably green? my favorite because I feel like th these leaves look like the most, the cutest for inside. Plus, this said, didn't this say like, yeah, indirect, which means Perfect filtered so sun in or indirect. Does that mean shade? Yeah, where you'll put it in your house or your house? So that's 
What's up? Look at it. it just looks like a bunch of sticks. I'm excited. You it's need. It's kind of because you like you basically keep it. I think in like a smaller pot the whole time, and it's turning into a big ass. Not like a big tree, but like it's getting older. Don't correct me. Don't don't quote me verbatim on this. Don't quote on the bonsai. <laughs> Actually, Give us a bonsai person. lesson. Caleb always tells me about it. Like if you keep it in like a smaller plant, and then like it's getting older, but it's like staying small. So it's, it's like maturing. grandpa. Yeah, but it's not getting huge. <laughs> And Shelby and I are gonna landscape the house, too. Yeah, my dad <laughs> Her dad's a professional la landscaper, and he's gonna be so proud of us. Yeah, too green for my liking. Well, you know, I want like unique stuff, like stuff that it's not like like these bushes we see everywhere. Well, but if you want something that's all year round, guys, new clothes came, and our um, olive tree that I ordered for the new house. You do this, and you never kill it. Don't get a footprint on the ceiling. Jump, Brent. This guy's laughing. Oh my god. Not only did you leave a big mark, but the bug is stuck up there. The story about what happened at the Where'd doctor. Where'd he go? Because, oh my god, her teeth are. Oh, it's on your hair. Ah! It's a good memory. No, <laughs> it's not. Test her. Toughness. Say, you're so tough when you hit your head, but if you hear a loud noise, you get so mad. So true. Let's see how you want to go about <laughs> Wow. This looks pretty awesome. Are you helping? Da, 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 da. Like, I feel like, okay, on camera it looks cute, but like, I need to build it up a little bit more. I have it in here because the ceilings are higher. Yeah, that's the vibe of it. Oh. Morning, guys. Okay, last day that I'm vlogging because this vlog is just being dragged out into nothing, but um, just got ready. We're going to Brent's practice. I got to get Sky dressed. She's having her bottle right now. <clears throat> but I just got some really cute new clothes from Revolve. Um... This t-shirt being one of them. I think I'm going to do a haul in my next video. Just because I feel like there isn't all the time in the world left in this. So, I'll do that. I just got out of the shower. I have a peel on my face right now from Drunk Elephant. It's literally so good. I'm already obsessed with it. And I can just feel it like tightening, lifting. It just helps your like unevenness and aging and all of that so i'm really excited about that but anyways this is what it looks like i'll link it down below um and they sent over a ton of their skincare so i'm like so excited to try it test it all out and like see what i'm into because i love drunk elephant i used to use the night serum and the vitamin c um i don't remember the last thing i vlogged i know that we went to a sky's appointment and she actually does have to get a helmet which I'm, i knew that was gonna happen and it's something super temporary and it's totally um gonna be fine and she's gonna be fine and everything's okay but just to like even out her head and everything uh 
you live and you learn. I mean, sometimes it's genetic, sometimes it just happens with the babies because when they're so young, they just form flat spots from like always going to one side or always holding them on the same side. And then over time it's supposed to fix, but sometimes it doesn't because um, it really just depends like how they sleep and stuff like that. So she just loves her one side. I'm the same way, I'm like a stomach sleeper. So uh, yeah, I like pushed into the side of her head right here. But I'm just happy she's gonna have like a nice round head, but this poor thing has to wear a helmet for who knows how long, but she doesn't go in it for like three weeks. She has to go get size and everything. So um, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I love y'all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.